I have six amazing developers and they will be passing one Roblox game along, each adding their own updates without ever talking to each other. It's like broken telephone, but in Roblox Studio. Starting with Emma, I haven't told her anything. Let's see what happens. Hey guys, it's Emma here and I've been developing games on Roblox for a few months now. I failed to escape the basement after the previous game swap, so here I am. I decided to make a Forsaken themed game, but with a slight twist. For those of you who don't know, Forsaken is a simple game with a killer who needs to kill players who are completing tasks. If the players complete the tasks on time, the players win, and if not, the killer wins. Instead of using famous Roblox characters like Forsaken does, I decided to theme it in space, since I felt like making it more like a horror game. I decided that should be easy enough, so I made a beautifully furbished game with extravagant UI and a perfect map. After the intermission, one player would be selected as the alien and the other as astronauts. The players would teleport from the lobby to the map, and the round starts. The round continues until the timer runs out or all the players are killed, who are then returned to the lobby. Once a basic loop was done, I thought the map could use some slight improvements, so I set the background to look more convincingly spacey and fix some lighting. I also started to build a spaceship, and at this point I realised the game premise was rather similar to another game. Anyways, I added a skin for the alien, which I stole from the toolbox since I think a future dev could probably make a better model than me. I did however script it to play sounds when it detects a player and when it's chasing them to make the game even more terrifying. It also emits this rather scary red aura. I finished up the map, adding random spawns for players and the ability to sprint with stamina and redid the UI. This was all I got done since I ran out of time. I'm hoping the next devs can remodel the alien, give it some abilities maybe, it only has a sword to kill right now since I'm lazy, and add the tasks that the players need to do. I'm excited to see what changes and you should definitely stay tuned to the end to find out. If you're interested in seeing more of my personal projects, I'm currently working on a game called Watch Grass Grow, so you should definitely check out my YouTube channel if you'd like to see more on that. Rate me out of 10 in the comments and I'll see you guys at the end. Bye! Wait a minute, is that Game Maker? With Game Maker, you can make games fast, not eventually after years of learning. It's built to get you from idea to actually creating way quicker than most engines. You'll still learn as you go, but you'll spend most of that time actually building instead of just trying to get started. Game Maker is the perfect combo of beginner friendly and giving you full on indie dev power. You can build games visually without writing a single line of code or dive deep into advanced scripting if you want to take your project to the next level. Some of the coolest modern indie games like Delta Rune, The King is Watching, Crashlands 2, Tinkerlands, and Beastie Ball were all built with Game Maker. These aren't starter projects, these are projects that are played by millions of people. Imagine this, you open Game Maker and instead of spending hours setting up complex scripts, you're actually doing the fun parts like making your own levels, mechanics, and gameplay. It's fast, clean, and designed so that your idea can exist as a real game way sooner than you'd expect. Game Maker also has a super active and friendly community on Discord, so if you ever get stuck, they're always able to help. And if you're not sure where to start, their RPG tutorial on YouTube teaches every everything you need to know so you can go off on your own. Whether you want to make something fun between your classes or build your dream indie game, Game Maker will get you there so much faster. Click the link in the description or pinned comment to download Game Maker and start making your first game. Join the community, try their tutorial, and just see how far you go. Also, if you say thank you Game Maker in the comments, I'll heart your comment. Hey guys, I'm DevShark, a 3D modeler and scripter, and I just got added to this game, so let's check it out. Okay, we're loading in. Let's see. We have a spaceship, I guess, and some roles over here. The alien seems like they're the bad guy, and the crew's the good team. Okay, we're the alien. Whoa, this is super scary. Let's see if it loads us in. Okay, it did load us in. And let's explore the map a little. Whoa, only 10 seconds. What? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to fix that, but it looks like we have a little map, but it doesn't look like there's anything for the crew to do the alien can definitely kill them but i don't think the crew can do anything so i'm gonna be back once i actually add something to the game all right guys after hours of hard work i've made some reactor cores so basically these cores are going to be the replacement of generators and there's no mini game right now but you can activate them to solve them so as you can see it just dropped down one and yeah that's about it i plan on making a mini game for them and then the survivors will be able to do these not the a Alien. but yeah let's get to that all right guys after more work i've made an announcement system so as you can see if we just activate this core right here it'll say i fixed the core and basically i'll be using this announcement system for everything in the game and the next thing i plan on making is a mini game so you can actually fix the core and i plan on making the mini game a little hard so 
you'll see it once it's done all right guys i'm back after some more work and this is the mini game i've been working on so i'm not sure if you guys know what this is or not but guess in the comments below if you do know what it is so it's like halfway done and pretty much i'm just missing like the main part of it so as you can see we can like right click and it'll place this little flag here but we're missing one more part of it and this will pretty much make it the full game so i'll try getting that done but i'm not sure if i can because it's kind of a hard system for me at least to make but i'll be back and we'll see what i did guys i finally did it i finished the mini game and if you didn't guess what it was basically it's minesweeper a game where you have to like find mines by using these numbers i don't really know how to explain it but i'm gonna do a little speed run of it to flex my skills Woohoo, I beat the game. Okay, yeah, that was kind of slow, but I still beat the game. And as you can see, this dropped. Basically, the only thing I need to do now is fix a couple bugs with the system, and then it'll be good to go. Guys, so I've run out of time. This is gonna be the end of my part, but I've managed to fix a couple of bugs with the Minesweeper thing, but not everything. So hopefully the other scripters can fix it. But don't forget to rate me a zillion out of 10 in the comments below, and I'm gonna hand it off to the next dev. Hi, I'm Nozit and Rody has just sent me this game so I'm just going to see what the others have done so far. Alright, so I just checked out the game and I think I'm going to change what the UI looks like and also I'm going to add an ability to the alien and probably one to the crew as well and also I'm going to make it so that when the alien kills everyone you actually win since right now it's just me walking around, there's no crew members and somehow I still haven't won so yeah I'm just going to add all that. Alright, so this is the UI right now but I think I'm just going to change it up a bit since I think it could look better. So I just finished all the UI and this is what it looks like now. It's a lot more of a dark theme which I think looks like a lot better and now I'm just going to make abilities for the alien since right now it just has a sword so yeah I'll be back. Alright so I've just added an ability to the alien and also I made this sword like green as you can see and the ray blast is its ability and just shoots out there and it does quite a bit of damage so yeah that's it for that ability. Alright so since the alien got an ability I also made one for the crew members which is escape right here so it just makes you faster for like five seconds but you'll slowly get well just back to normal speed so yeah it'll help you escape the alien and it's got a 30 second cooldown and also the alien's ray blast has a 10 second cooldown so yeah all right so i made it so that the alien can actually win now because before it couldn't so right here if it just kills you it'll say the alien has won and it'll end the round so yeah anyways that's all i could do for my part so i'm just gonna give it to the next dev yo what's up my name's wes apparently i'm be working on a forsaken video i can't hold you this is my first ever video so i'm not too too confident in what i'm doing i've been making games for about six years i want to say like I i've been doing i've been doing it for a long time now you know i'm pretty good at this stuff so i'm gonna try my best and i'm probably gonna switch over to studio right about now and see what's going on in there i just booted up roblox studio right and what i'm looking at right now looking at a spaceship i don't know what this is it's really it there, it's there's like a space background so this is like forsaken right you gotta have like two people on it for it to work you know you gotta have like a killer and you gotta have like a like a kill e so it looks like you're in a map bro i'm not playing minesweeper i'm i'm sorry i'm not playing mine i'm done testing so the first thing i'm gonna say is that the game probably needs a, another map i'm gonna make these items right here see how these are just items i'm gonna make these like abilities with like a gui screen i feel like that's kind of boring you know it's just um it's just kind of it's just kind of like uh, in your hot bar it's like and I'll, I'll make the game you know i'm just gonna i'm gonna do what i do So I just finished making the map. It's like a sci-fi spaceport. You know, I named it after yours truly, you know, West Tech Shipping. I was just kind of going for something like sci-fi here. Yeah, I'll play the game to give you a little bit of like a better look around and like what it kind of looks like, you know? So as you can see, I'm in the map. Um, there's like a shipping area and you can see that the energy core is over here. Uh, this is the shipping area. I might touch up the outsides, but I think I think this looks pretty good for now, you know? The one other thing is that I'm probably gonna touch up the default Roblox hotbar and I'm gonna implement this right here that I made earlier. As the hot bar i just got to code it in but i have all the ui made probably gonna put you know they'll be stacked right there
So you probably just watched like a three minute segment of me building something and scripting something and through editing magic, you'll see it all instantly. So check this out. All right, I added icons and I added a new map, I added a, uh, a Titan refuel station. The other thing I added was I added a hot bar. Yeah, I'll vote, um, I'll vote this map. And now you can actually use the items from the hot bar. So I added a hot bar, I added a map, uh, map selecting screen, I added two maps to the game. I think that's about it. And I'll probably pass it off to the next developer right about now. Please give me like five out of five stars. You know, I would really appreciate that. You know, the maximum rating. I don't know how you do it, but however you do it, I would really appreciate if you did that. For this test of the game, and it's definitely lacking in certain aspects, the monster spawns before the rouse starts, which is weird. From what I've seen, there's no option to get new monsters or more than one. And just, uh, in my opinion, a bit of lack content, which I just want to add some more content just to make it more interesting to play. So I got to focus on that. All right. After this very small bit of time, I can add some money value because the UI right here. So get it after every round. And now I need to make another alien slash monster before I actually make the shop because there's nothing to buy right now. So I think I'm going to make Rodev as a monster. Let's get started on that. Okay, so I got this cage here and I got Rodev's signature gear that he usually uses. So all three of these are probably going to be separate abilities because him just being able to fire them constantly forever is kind of overpowered. Or I'll just, you know, whenever you click it, it'll shoot one quick laser out of each cycle through him. And then this cage, he's going to slam on people to stun them just like he did to catch us developers to throw them in the basement. At least personally for me, that's how he taught me. So yeah, those are the two abilities he's gonna have. Now I have to uh, import his avatar and just in general make him. Alright, so I've almost finished Rodev, but before I uh, reveal that to you guys, I also want to touch up all the animations of Rodev and the alien to make them look cleaner and overall make them more functional as well with the animations. And then I'll, I'll show you guys Rodev. Alright guys, we're in the game. I'm here with my tester account and we're going to test the Rodev. I got to fix that it's spawning early. I could fix it earlier. I just for testing. But Rodev is already overpowered enough to do the first one, the damage, and then just resets after like 45 seconds. The other one pushes or pulls and then put damage, pull, push, damage, pull, push. Push. You want to damage and pull that damage again, just let it happen, and then right when they uncage, just like that. You know, he's pretty overpowered. I have to nerf him a little bit, and now I gotta finish the shop, which is there. There he is. I gotta finish him up. I'm gonna down one more monster and a survivor of Titan. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm here in the game. I got my alt account in here, and we're just gonna run the final test. But I'll show you earn money and stuff. It's pretty nice. Here's the alien behind me. There's his new animation. Here's his idle animation. You know, pretty nice stuff. Um, and there is the new alien, the UFO alien, which I'll leave for maybe the future that show, or you'll see it uh, when we record a playtest. Uh, it's, it's very nice. It flies. Anyways, that should be almost it for my part. Just gonna change the squash part of this icon. The two bugs, the one it just didn't give me like other tool for some reason sometimes because it thinks it doesn't have an icon. And two, it's just fixing the shop loader. That's it. Very quick, very easy. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Fidget. I'm a programmer and I've been making games on Roblox for about uh, six years now. I also have a YouTube channel where I teach people like you how to script and how to make games on Roblox. I only have 12 hours to get everything done. So let's see if I can do it in time. Oh yeah, I like the spaceship, but it's like just a little cramped. I think I might expand it. And also I think I might touch up the shop UI. I feel like it could maybe use some work. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just hop to that right now. All right, so uh, the shop is all done and I think it turned out pretty nicely. I had this alien guy kind of dancing right here and they had this music playing. I, I dig that. I think it kind of adds to the charm. You can kind of buy stuff, you know, it is pretty basic and it kind of shows you like the uh, the character you're buying. That way you're like a little more aware, you know, a little more informed and yeah, that's about it. It's about the same. I think now I'm going to work on the inventory just because even though you can equip it and stuff, it's not as nice looking as that and it's a little jarring. So uh, I'll work on that right now. All right, so I touched up some of the UI. I kind of redid this a little, but I don't have enough time. I only have like six to seven hours left so i want to get a lot of stuff done and i already got the shop done i got like some dialogue done and then i got some of this done so i'm gonna see if i can still do some more ui if i have time but in the meantime i mean i might just have to sit with that uh i had a road dev here he kind of just talks about himself he says he likes cats and he also says like he likes dogs and grapes and stuff yo all right so i think i fixed the bug so if i talk to him now he shouldn't say anything too insensitive oh my god oh.
All right, so I'm gonna take a little break from the dialogue tree and instead I'm gonna probably work on the chase system and like making gameplay a little better just because I feel like it's a little lackluster. I feel like there could be maybe more abilities or something, although I don't know whether or not I'm gonna touch that. Right now I kind of want to make sprinting a little better and then also I want to go ahead and uh, add some like chase music. That would be kind of nice, but I don't know how high intensity or chasing is gonna be, so we'll see. So all in all, I think we got a lot done. We have the shop done, we got the dialogue system done, and we also polished gameplay up a little. Now, I added some chase music, but you'll just have to play the game in order to hear that and find out, you know? Anyhow, I'm tired, and I think I'm gonna be going to bed. It's kinda late where I am. So, without further ado, I'd like to pass it back off to Rodev. All right, guys, Fidget just sent me the game, and it looks incredible. We are in space. All right, guys, over here, there's like a Rodev character, so let's, uh, oh, we can talk to him. Okay, see what he says. Okay, what, 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 who put this in the game? It wasn't me, I promise. Okay, guys, I need you to tell me who put that in the game in the comments. Why is there an alien in the intermission area? It says I failed blue core, is that bad? Yo, is this, why are we leading them to our location? Oh, oh this is my location? No, I'm getting away, I'm getting away. Oh my god. I hear something. I, I'm too fat. Why is he trying out. to... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, come here, Luckman. Wow, we just no failed blue core. Oh no, that's an alien. Yeah, guys, I'm not touching blue core. I am running for my life. Oh no, oh no, oh no, run. Come here, Rhoda. Let me out of your basement. No. Bro, Wait. guys, someone else do red core. I'm selling. <laughs> How do I do this? It's Minesweeper. Come here, come here, come here. Yo, why am I slower? Oh my god. This game is impossible. That's what I said. I don't know. Oh no, oh no. Uh, yeah, yo, kill me. I'm tired of this this life. Right, right, right. Try, try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Okay, I'll try it again. I'll I'm getting out of here. What are you doing? I'm gonna let you do it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, go, go, go and do it. Go on, go on. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. You gotta play Minesweep. I can't see your screen, so I can't tell you what it is. Oh. Uh, Bro, I was gonna beat it. <laughs> What's up, Lightman? Man? I think this is the best Maybe. game so we've ever done! Me too! <laughs> oh, Alright, guys, the, the alien. Rodev? Wait, I just bought myself. Where's his shirt? Nah, it's better that way. It's better that way. Alright, guys, we are on this map, and honestly, it looks incredible. Dead. West Tech Shipping. Let's stay oh, away no, from everybody. Good. Okay, guys, who wants to be the first developer to be put in a cage forever? Whoa! Oh, oh, that's oh, the no. alien! No! Or did you recognize that? Yeah, yeah, I do recognize that. Well, once we have the cage, <laughs> he'll recognize it instantly. Wait, guys, is this a W or a hiding spot? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, he, he's not gonna find me here. No, over one. here, over here, over here. Up here, up here. No! Zylo! Why are you leading oh, him to I me? Know, you wanna go in a cage? No! Go after Luckman, he just filled the yellow core! Uh, oh, I don't know where guys, we're lucky dodging these. Like, oh, there's negative two cores. Hey, why are there yeah, negative two cores left? Core. Okay, okay, okay. Why is Rodev chasing me? Bro, the cage is impossible to hit. What? <laughs> I got sniped wow. out of the. Okay. Wow, you suck. What's up, Sivgum? Titan refueling. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> this map is massive. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I see Rodev over there. I'm staying away. All right, guys, let's do blue uh, core. Yeah, I'm trying to do those words, guys. This Minesweeper oh, game is impossible. But Rodev, it like requires you to be smart. How do you be smart? You just, it's random. It's all math. Why is that an audio in this game? When he put the cage up, it said let it happen in my voice. What I do? I just, oh yeah. Hey Zylo, what did you think of this game? I give it like, like a five out of 10. I would give this game a Zyro yeah. out of 10. Me too. Anyways guys, we are so close to taking over World Builder and we want to do it before the end of the year. So if you're seeing this video, press subscribe because only one in every 20 of you are subscribed. Are you kidding me?